Hello all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Space Engineers. It's day 13 on the Frozen Rock, and if you remember in the last video yesterday, uh, I was putting the cargo truck together, and I ended up having to take the wheels off and drop it down so that I could get these two cargo bays added. That was part of our collection that we had been collecting along. And I got uh, the eight batteries. I was talking about 16, but I think that's a little overkill. But I do have room to put a couple of more on each side if I need to. But I've got four on this side and I got four on this side, and as you can see, I have a charging station set up, and these batteries are being charged. So if we hop into the seat here, and we take a look, and you'll see that I've renamed everything. This is going to be the cargo truck, so preface is cargo. Uh, as you can see, we are hooked into the base. So it's showing everything else. But the two interior lights that I saved from uh, the medium cargo is still on top. Here's all the lithium batteries. And let's take a look at one of them. And they are now fully charged. So it's got uh, 100 kilowatts. And uh, we're to totally charged. So. With the eight batteries, I've got 900 kilowatts of power. So we'll see how that translates once I uh, start using this thing. And if I do need more batteries, I do. I can collect a couple of more, and the batteries I can reach, and we'll be able to put those on. So that's not a problem. So I think at this point, I'm going to, uh, well, uh, first off, I've got to build out these pistons so that I can lift this thing back up. And once I lift this back up, then I should be able to put my wheels back on and I should be able to finish the legs on this side and then put those wheels on. That's the plan anyway. So once I'm ready to finish up these pistons, because that's really kind of the next step, uh, I will go ahead and get back with you. So let me finish up these pistons and then uh, we will see what uh, uh, how this is going to work. All right, I am about to finish up this last piston. And let's hop into the seat. Now we shouldn't have to worry about power since we're connected into the base. So let's do this. Let's uh, create a group. Pistons, those are. That's on. What's that connected to? Let me actually disconnect this. That way we're not getting confused by what's out there. This will be easiest. We've got enough power. Alright, that's disconnected. This way we can see exactly what we have on here. We should not have a pistons group. Right, so all we got here is the stuff that's incomplete. And here's our four pistons. I'm gonna remove those once we get this done. 
Oh, actually, I better grab my batteries and turn them all on. Let's do this. All right. And let's set those to auto. And that might give us an indication of... So we've got eight days of power just sitting here doing nothing. So that's pretty good. Uh, all right, let's get back in there. Let's grab our pistons up. And we're going to call this just, we're just going to call it pistons. And save. Now let's uh, just bring those down to the hot bar for now. And we want to, we'll just do a reverse on it. And let's, uh, let's go outside the cab and see what happens here. We should see this thing lift in the air. Oh, perfect. Look at that. It's like homemade jacks. We're all set, put in place. Okay, so now we can uh, get back to... Yeah, we can still get up it in there. So now we can reach everything. We can finish getting these wheels on and whatnot. And uh, we'll uh, take it from there. So as I get this a little farther along, once I get the wheels all on, I will uh, catch back up with you. Uh, we're getting close to being able to take this for a drive. And hopefully we can have it done about the time the sun comes up. And then we can make a trip over to the cobalt deposit and see how much trouble we can get into over there. All right, be back with you in a little bit. Well, that was an unexpected, just kind of unexpected as I put those wheels on. Apparently there's a lot of weight in those wheels and it tipped everything over to the one side, which, not a problem really. So let's uh, finish putting these on this side and see what happens. There we go, that straightened that back out. All right, well, I just thought you might be interested in seeing what happened there. Uh, we have all the wheels on. I literally could put this down now and then not have to worry about those. But I think I'll leave that up for right now because it is making it a little easier to work on the uh, cargo truck. So once I get uh, a little more done on this, I want to get uh, uh, the antenna finished. I want to get the gyros finished. I want to get that... Uh, medium cargo box on. I might put another one on even after that and get those two cargo boxes set up on there. And then uh, we'll uh, kind of see how it looks from there. And as the sun is ever so slowly approaching. So let me get started on this. Okay, I think I am getting close to finishing this off. I also added a food uh, sequencer. I try to put that on all the uh, vehicles if I know I'm going to be out traveling uh, some distances. I like to have that on there just because I can pretty much uh, make what I need uh, with, uh, with that so I don't have to worry about my daily needs. And I didn't put it on this thing because I'm, I'm never going that far. I'm always close enough to base with it. Uh, its whole sole purpose was mainly to recover those unknown objects falling from the sky and just little short uh, hauling exercises that's close, close to the base. So that's why it's not on that one. All right, let me uh, finish up these wheels. And that one's done. I had to do some uh, stone mining because I ran out of iron. 
All right, that one's done. Okay, we have wheels, uh, battery. Uh, I have the antenna done, the metal detector. I have the gyros done. And I have, uh, I went ahead and put on an additional cargo bay or uh, medium cargo container and and the idea behind that was so that when I'm ready at some point I'm going to put a connector on the back here and then that way when we really are starting to haul a lot of ore then and we have our refinery set up it'll be easy enough just to fill this up come up and then just park park the vehicle uh, connect it up and it'll do all the unloading for us so all right so let me uh, s see if we can lower these I should be able to get into the seat from here now let's just uh, reverse these perfect so the question is let's hop off Do I want to remove these? I don't think they're adding that much weight. I can always keep, you know, turn them off. And then if I run into a predicament, I might be able to use those to get out of that predicament, whatever that might be. All right, so let's get rid of this. I had to have something to get up and into the cab while I was in there. Now, with this down on the ground, I can hop up here and pretty much get to anything. Uh, I didn't put lights on those other two just because I don't have all that much glass. Although we did get some from the monks uh, engineers up there so uh, I could. But it really wasn't necessary. Uh, and at this point we're only going to be taking this out in the daytime. At some point I will be adding additional lights around here. So I think we're ready to, to go uh, and see if we can make it up to the Cobalt. Now, first thing I got to do is let's get up here and let's do some setup on this. Let's uh, uh, get into here. I think my uh, control panel, uh, my batteries, I need to put them all in a group. And we're just going to call it cargo battery. I can spell. Save. Uh, I don't. The wheels, I'm not going to worry about them at this point. They're pretty well set. We're just going to go with the defaults on them. And other than the speed limit, we should turn that down to something about, although we won't be going that fast, we'll put it down to there. That should be pretty good. And I should have done that with all of them and not just that one. All right. That should have set all of them. Let's check that one. Okay. All right, that wheel, the battery, the metal detector. I don't need to set any. All right, let's do this now. Let's go to our hot bar. Uh, I want to go to G and first off control seat will go here and that's parking where is it handbrake 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 on and off uh, oh I know what else I needed to I need to set my gyros up uh, 
Let's get back in there. Control. Let's create a group for these guys. There we go. Gyros. Save. And that's just so that we can decrease and increase power on those things. Uh, all right. Let's get back to here. All right. So the next thing we want to put in here is our batteries. And those need to be uh, recharge on and off. And these pistons, we'll put them down here. Toggle those on and off. The gyros. Uh, this is decrease power. And this one will be increase power. And I don't think I need anything else. All right. So we have about 20 hours of, let's uh, turn those off. That makes us 21 hours. And let's decrease the gyros down to about 50%, 49% works. And we have about 90 percent so let me check my inventory uh, let me go grab a little bit of food and I think we'll be ready to see if we can get to that cobalt field all right this is kind of exciting and actually we can leave that. We don't need that. Let's uh, drop off the organics. I should have plenty. Let's uh, just grab five of these. Okay. And we'll get rid of the gray waste. And we'll grab just a couple of these. Should be plenty. Okay. Uh... Okay, let's, uh, I'll drop off that one piece of scrap. All right, let's go mine some cobalt. Let's see how this does on its first test drive. All right. All right, so. So far, so good. It seems to have plenty of power. All right. Well, as I start to get a little closer, I will uh, catch back up with you. Uh, and, uh,. We'll see if we can make it up that hillside. Okay, we are starting to close in. Uh, if you remember, we were we came up that other hillside where you can see those trees right up there towards the upper right corner, and the cobalt field was actually across the draw and on top of that other set of rocks so we were on the wrong side so we're going to go up this side we should shouldn't run into too much of a problem here i'm kind of hoping that the way these deposit fields are that we don't run into you know we might run into it a little closer here but this i'm loving this this new cargo truck because it's just walking right up these hillsides like it was nothing all right so hopefully we can get up here
All right. I kind of like this spot right here. It's fairly level. And the cobalt is not all that deep. So I think we're going to make our cobalt mine right here. And so uh, let's hop out. Let's see exactly where we want to do it. Keeping in mind, we don't have a jetpack, so we need to be kind of cautious about this. So I'm going to start in right here. And I'm not going to worry about the stone. I'm just going to bore down to the cobalt. And then once I hit it, we'll kind of see how it looks. All right, look at that. That's just wonderful looking stuff. We should be able to, yeah, walk back up. All right, let's just start uh, mining some of this. We'll get a couple of cargos full. And uh, once I do that and I start heading back, I'll, I'll catch back up with y'all. Okay, I am just about full. I got actually, I filled up three cargo containers and uh, we'll just grab the rest of this here and this will be on us and we're about ready to head back so <laughs> here comes the real wild ride all right we're going down slope we've got all this additional weight let's hope and we'll see how it does but let's take the handbrake off not too bad. All right. I want to try to go side slope. I don't want to just go straight down the hill. But we could end up... Hopefully, we have enough braking torque. We'll just take it slow and easy. Not, not bad. Seems to be slowing down mostly. Alright, it's got enough power. Let's kind of head back over towards this away. Okay. We're, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way the uh, cargo truck is handling so far. It seems to... And like I said, I didn't quite fill it all the way up, but I think, for the most part, it's doing pretty good. Get down off the slopes, then that'll be even better. Okay. right down this ridge it looks like we get to the bottom of it all right slowing down okay all right well I'm pretty happy with that all right, once I get back to base, I will uh, catch back up with you all. All right, I'm just pulling back into base here. Uh, let's... Uh, actually, we need to... We park this for the moment. Uh, we can... Turn the metal detector off. Pistons are already off. Once we get parked, hold on here. Alright. I need to move this rig out of the way. And 
that way I can pull that in a little closer back to where it normally parks and then I think I can pull the cargo truck alongside on the other side over there so let me get this out of the way uh, five and I can park it anywhere because it doesn't have well it has a battery on it but it's not a chargeable battery so it uh, really can just kind of sit anywhere let's just kind of turn and I think park it over here all right that's good right there and let's uh, turn everything off uh, back inside hop out okay that's good now we can uh, pull this thing in right over here I'm I'm really happy with that cargo truck that uh, I know it's not a thing of beauty that's for sure but it's really functional and it does what it needs to do and it's got lots of power and I may end up just putting those other two batteries on for the heck of it. That ought to be good right there. Let's park that. Uh, we can, that's off, those are all off. Let's do this. We'll put that over to charge. And then we will go ahead and hook up the charging station. And connect that right into, come on, a little closer. There we go, that's all connected up. And those are charging. Nice, all right. Well, let me get some of this cobalt un uh, unloaded. I'm not going to put it all in the smelter right now. Actually, what I got on me is what I'm going to put in the smelter right now. Because Cobalt will clog this thing up for sure. And there we go. We'll see how much that ends up making. Uh, what we can do and what we should do is control panel. Fabricator. Fabricator, where are you at? Right there. And let's have it make about 50 grids for now. 50 metal grids. Set that. It has cobalt that they can make it. And we can, uh, I'll put one more load, grab one more of these, and the stone, and we'll throw that in there, and then the rest I'm just going to throw, or actually I can just leave in the truck for now, because it takes so long for cobalt to grind down that uh, I don't want to... Uh, clog up the, the smelter with that if I have to go grab some more stone for iron. Alright. Well, that is a big accomplishment. I am glad I got that done. Uh, here, let me pull the buggy back over a little closer. Get it back into place. And kick that off. We should just be able to Just pull it back right about there. I think that's pretty good. All right. All right, things are coming along. I think at this point, what I want to do is, I want to get back to building that base defense down here. 
and we'll see if we can't get that finished up today as well so uh, once I get a little farther along on this I will uh, well let me kind of show you what I'm doing so the idea is I have a small cargo container right here that I can fill up with ammo I got a uh, conveyor junction there and a conveyor junction there and the rest of this is cement block so I will kind of fill this in around there it's not meant to be a real permanent or at least it's just a line of defense and I will have these three light turrets I'll have that heavy turret over there and again I want to put another heavy turret kind of somewhere over there maybe around that tree kind of up and in there and I'm just going to circle the base so I'll have a heavy turret these light turrets and then a heavy turret and just kind of see how many it's going to take to go around the base so that's going to be an ongoing project but I can at least uh, get uh, uh, try to get this one done today and that'll be a pretty good day's work so let me get busy on this uh, and then I will catch back up with you once we are about right when I'm about ready to finish this off well I think I'm about to finish this off at least for the time being I'm not real thrilled about having to have the the windmill the wind turbine is plenty if I have a battery and I can't build any lithium batteries because I don't have any oil sand or, or lithium that I found so that we can create that I can't attach small battery I can if I wanted to build a rotor and put a small head on it I could do that uh, and if that's what it comes down to I will but we'll see how well the wind turbine does uh, let me hop in here and finish this off I should be able to, I should have enough supplies on me on this and there we go so our turrets are functioning up here see that they're spinning around uh, I should check to see what I have I need to go grab some small gravel for it uh, let's just kind of see how they look so the light gravel turrets are set up idle on we can turn that off actually let me select them all and meteors on off okay meteors off target missiles on small ships on target large ships on characters off eh, it's not gonna hurt anything uh, target stations on how ah, we can turn that off target neutrals off and use conveyor system on all right now it takes how much does each one take each one uh, needs two kilowatts and the wind turbine is currently putting out six kilowatts or well it's uh, currently it's producing enough for those three small gravel turrets so that should be enough for now the only problem is would I like to have a battery kind of tucked away is 
when the wind turbine gets shot off, then your power is gone and then your turrets are neutralized. So that's why I like to stick a battery in there. But the batteries, the only one that I can put in there is an alkaline battery and it's going to drain down and then I'd have to build another one. So let's let's go grab the let's go grab some gravel. The small gravel, at least everything that I've got, 100. Let's see if I can get them all in. Yeah, I can get it all in. It's going to produce some more. I don't think those last very long, but a little bit's a little bit. And we'll steadily get more all right, let's throw that in there. That should disperse out. It is. Let's see how much it can hold. It looks like they can hold a hundred each. So as uh, this is producing, I'll uh, get that up, uh, filled up full. I should actually, you know what? I don't know if I've filled up the other turret. I better check that while I'm at it. Let's grab what we can here. Uh, 50, I can grab all of that. Let's grab all of that. And that way it'll be making. And let's... Uh, yeah, that uh, acid battery. I, I need sulfur. So... I uh, can't build it yet. And until I get oil sand... Uh, I'm not going to be able to get any sulfur. I need to put some lights out here, but as soon as we get m more glass and the, I think the chemical plant, I'm, I don't remember for sure. But let's do that. This thing should start. So yeah, we're getting this, uh, getting a little bit of base defenses anyway. All right. Let's uh, head back up here. The cobalt's been plugging away. Uh, I added some more. Uh, I'm going to have to mine some stone, I'm pretty sure. I think in the next daylight hours, we're going to head over and I might make a trip out to the iron field and just bring back a load of iron. Uh, and then that will be very helpful. Although the stone feeds the gravel, it feeds my current ammo, so it's not a bad thing uh, mining stone. It also is my foundational blocks, my concrete blocks. So I think that's what I'm going to do is, is go ahead and mine some stone, but I'm still going to go grab some iron. Uh, we actually have that iron rock we can go hit and finish grinding it all down as well. So uh, I think I am going to call this episode good right now. I got a little more offline stuff. I'm going to go mine some stone, work some more on hollowing out the garage and that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, we, we finished the cargo truck. Uh, such as it is very functional and it works great uh, we hauled back a load of cobalt and we've got our small small defenses our small base defenses set up over here we get some light on the subject there we got some base defenses set up so there we're making some progress anyway Hope you all enjoyed the episode, and I think in the next episode, 
we need to start doing some more base expansion. Uh, we are going to have to find some bauxite, whether that means going back up to the monk, the monks, and seeing if they can, or seeing if I can uh, generate another charge and see if we can find some bauxite. But in order to, to process that bauxite, we've got to have a refinery in place. And I think that that's what we're going to start working on is kind of laying this out. I think my refinery is going to work out this way. Uh, I want to put it out about here someplace. And then that'll give me room for expansion over in there for some of the other uh, assemblers, uh, the ceramics, the micro... Uh, processors and stuff like that so there's a lot of stuff that we still need to build so all right I think with that uh, we're gonna call it a video uh, all you uh, space engineers out there uh, keep building and uh, keep uh, designing and uh, with that Commander Kingfish is out of here and I will see you all in the next video thanks for watching everyone